So I have a quick unboxing today and it's another faceless unboxing because I really didn't plan on doing an unboxing today. I wasn't going to uh, unbox it so I look a hot mess. So this one's from a Pharaoh's Kiss and it's amazing. I hadn't bought from Pharaoh's Kiss in a long time but um, I needed to because I saw something on her site that I really liked. So let's take a look so here we go look at this you guys it's called gore whore and it just looks like it needs to be used asap this is a uh, cranberry black cherry fig and blood orange and look at it oops it looks super gory And I can't wait to use it. It smells, as soon as I open the box, I could just smell this, like immediately. I love my coffin bombs because they uh, float. So I hope this is no exception. All right. And the price on that, by the way, was $7.50. And then I got another coffin. I got this one here. Just because I thought it was fun looking and it was six bucks and I said well hell why not that's super fun looking sounds like a little drum she wrapped it so tight little bones in there super fun looking so that's the second one that one is called bloodbath so I'm just looking for all kinds of bloody baths for you guys for all of my Halloween demos. Six bucks. And I got something called Bubblicious. That was the last one that I got. And it's a cute little bath bomb. And I haven't even opened it up. So let me put this on pause while I unpackage it. So this is the uh, Bubblicious. And it smells like bubblegum to me. I will be honest with you guys, every time I get this scent, my granddaughter says it smells like Pepto-Bismol. I don't know why she thinks it smells like, like Pepto-Bismol, but it smells like bubblegum to me. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but I can see that it's sparkly too. Pretty cute, pretty cute. And then she sent me two samples. I got a sample of skeleton key and a sample of twat waffle this looks super cool i love that one looks very nice very nice one thing oh this feels so much softer than this one feels like powdery and this one feels a little more grainy not that that's either one of us a problem they both turn into foam so it doesn't matter one thing I will say is that um, I haven't ordered from uh, A Feral's Kiss since probably last December. And I wasn't even following her on Instagram, and I don't think she was following me. But I don't even think she's following me now that I can remember. She said, thank you for being such a big supporter of small businesses. And I didn't even know she knew that I was a supporter of small businesses. Um, I certainly didn't know she knew that I was a small businesses by just my Ingrid Burnett name. So, that's super amazing that she from last year would rem remember the Ingrid Burnett name with Inky Mac Demos. That's customer service, guys. Like, she and I have not been in communication since last year. Like, literally last year. With one order, or maybe two orders. And she remembers Ingrid Burnett tied to Inky Mac Demos. Um, so the prices were seven fifty for the Big Gore Whore. And then $3 for the bubble gum, And then $6 for the... Um, what was this one called again? I'm sorry. The bloodbath. 
So look for these to be demoed soon. Talk to you guys on the next one. Again, this was a Pharaoh's kiss. Bye.